Hello everyone, welcome to Rasa's Classroom. In this video, we have solved a nice math problem, which is x squared minus y squared is equal to 36. We will find out x, y is equal to y. Here is x and y is natural number. So how to solve this interesting math problem? It is a nice math Olympiad question. So let's start solution. Our question, it will be x squared minus y square is equal to 36 now at this moment we know that a square minus v square it will be a plus b times a minus b if i follow this formula then i can easily this expression x square minus y square it will be x plus y times x minus y is equal to 36 now at this moment you can see here is x plus y this is x minus y and here x plus y is here is x minus y here is x plus y is always greater than x minus y now at this moment here is 36 so you know that 36 uh if i use here is multiplication i can easily it will be 36 times 1 or 1 times 36 then i can easily it will be 9 times 4 or 4 times 9 then i can easily here it will be 12 times 3 then here 3 times 12 then i can see this expression it is also 6 times 6 then it will be 18 times 2 or 2 times 18. now at this moment we know that here is x plus y is always greater than x minus y so at this moment I can see easily here is 36 is always greater than 1 so this is possible it is not possible it is rejected here for 9 times 4 it is possible this is not possible this is a big number this is a small number and here is this is possible it is not possible this is not possible because of both are equal this is okay it is not okay so we'll find out here is four case is possible uh, our first case i take our case here is first case uh, it will be 36 times 1 case 2 and here is 9 times 4 and here is case 3 it will be uh, 12 times 3 and case 4 i can say it will be 18 times 2 but remember that x and y it is natural number it's okay so first of all if i take our first case i can see easily here is x plus y x minus y is equal to 36 so it will be x plus y times x minus y it is 36 36 it will be 36 times 1 this is our first case now you can see easily here x plus y it is 36 and x minus y it is 1 here is 1 now if i add both value both equations so i can say x x it will be 2x and 36 plus 1 it will be 37 then if i divide both sides by 2 we are find out x is equal to 37 over 2 but it is not a uh, natural number not natural number and you yes numbers it is rejected it is rejected because of that here x is equal to 37 over 2 our need natural number so first case is rejected case 2 case 2 it will be uh, x plus y times 
x minus y it will be 9 times 4 this is case 2 9 times 4 so i take this is 9 times 4 now add this when you consider here x plus y it will be 9 x minus y it will be 4 then if i add i can see twice x is equal to 13 then here x it will be 13 over 2 it is also rejected because of that it is a fraction it is not natural number case 3 i take now at this moment case 3 here case 3 x plus y and x minus y it is 12 times 3 here so 12 times 3 then you can see here x plus y it will be 12 and x minus y it is 3 then if i add both equation twice x y y cancel we'll find out it will be 15 then if i divide both sides by 2 i can see here x it will be 15 over 2 it is also fraction it is not natural number so it is also rejected this is rejected so first case second case and third case is rejected so at this moment we take case 4 so case 4 one of that x plus y times x minus y is equal to 36 36 it will be 18 times 2 this is case 4 so i take this case here so it will be 18 times 2 now first of all you can see here x plus y is equal to 18 x minus y is equal to 2 so at this moment i can say x plus y it will be 18 and x minus y it will be 2 then if i add both so i can say here is twice x y y cancel out it will be 20. then if i divide both side by 2 i can say it will be x is equal to 10. so we'll find out here is x is equal to 10 it is a natural number then we'll find out our first equation it will be x plus y it will be 18. then we know that x is equal to 10 so 10 plus y it will be 18. then here y is equal to 18 minus 10 then you can see it will be 8 so we'll find out his y is equal to 8 so you can see here x comma y it will be 10 and 8 this is our final answer in this math problem it is an interesting math and easy it is easy math okay so let's check out our question it will be x square minus y square is equal to 36 now we can easily x it will be 10 square minus y it will be 8 square is equal to 36. now as this if i evaluate 10 square it will be 100 minus 8 square it will be 64 and we know that 100 minus 64 it will be 36. so you can see the left hand side and right hand side is equal so our final answer uh, here is x and y it will be 10 and 8. this is the bell of x1 x and y in this math olympiad question thank you all if you enjoy this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care